And new tonight, one of the victims in the fatal crash was a beloved member of the community and a host of foreign exchange students. We talked to his daughter and the students that lived with him at the time of his death. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has the story new at 11. You know, it's kind of something out of like a horror movie or something like everybody is just like screaming and crying. Leslie Mounts is the daughter of Bill Mounts, who lost his life in a car accident in Milton Township. She describes how she felt after finding out the news of her father's death. I was actually on the floor crying and, um, you know, my whole family was crying and it was like it was, I couldn't really believe it, something like a shock. While Leslie was Bill's biological daughter, he was also a father figure to 10 boys. Every year, Bill would take in two boys from another country to stay with him as part of a foreign exchange program. They all individually became family. Ever since the first two boys that we had, I mean, every year we spent holidays, we went on trips, I mean, birthdays. This year, the same. Bill took in two boys, one from Italy and another from Portugal. And just like his former students, one of their first experiences of American culture is the Canfield Fair even though it's not for everyone. I'm going to be honest, it was kind of boring, but I, know, but I knew if like, like, I had my friends and all like my family, I, like, I understand that, that it's fun, but fair. To taking the boys to their first football game at Struthers High School. Ah, it's good, I, I don't understand the rule, but, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, I, I like uh, this part. Now both boys have a new host family. They transferred to Boardman High School and can still remain close with Leslie. Unfortunately, they do have to switch schools, but to know that they're close and, you know, that I, you know, can text the family and just say, you know, I'd like to see them, it feels good to me. In Boardman, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.